Hi everyone. The two most popular topics that we received for training tips and uh, information uh, were both in Excel. And one was pivot tables, which we mentioned in our last posting on the blog, that pivot tables are available. There's two courses available at ATCU. Please go check them out if you haven't already. And the other one is VLOOKUP. So what we want to do today is we want to talk about how to use a VLOOKUP. And we're also going to toss in for extra credit. We're going to use data validation. Now here's how we're going to do it. First, this is in front of us. This is the ATC phone list. And as you know, if you've ever looked at it, there's a lot of names and a lot of information. So we have starting here at A33, we have the first name, Wayne Ackerman. And across there we have division, location, title, uh, office number, fax number, home number, cell number. That's a lot of stuff to swim through. And if I want to find somebody's number, well, that's just a lot of information. Not like I can't do it, but it'd be nice if there was an easier way. So here's what we have. If I want to get John Carroll's number, I can hit this drop down and choose him from a list and have it pop up for me. For example, if I want Mike Cochran's number, I'll just find his name, click, and his phone number pops right up there. Don't call him and tell him all about this. He didn't know he was involved. I'll go back to John Carroll's number and it switches right over. That's real easy. To get that drop down, we use something called data validation. I'll get back to that in just a moment. But over here to make get the phone number, we use a VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP stands for vertical lookup. Uh, looks up and down a list on the left hand side to see what we're looking for and then brings back what we need. For example, in this case, we say look at cell A4, which is where John's name is, and then compare that to the data that is in the ATC sheet from A33 to I236, which is the bottom right corner of all that data. So that's where we start. We have A33, and if we went all the way down and all the way over, that would be I236. And then from that point, we say number six. Well, number six, after the comma there, that's the sixth column, one, two, three, four. The sixth column over here in the phone list, let's go back up to the top of that. We have name, we have B, which is nothing, that's two, three, four, five, and then the sixth column after title is actually office number. So that's what is going on there. And finally, we put the word false. What that means is don't worry about alphabetical uh, numbering or anything, uh, putting things in order, just find the exact match. So that's what that's talking about. I know this is all a little confusing, so let's make it a little simpler. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have a smaller list of numbers. We have one, two, three, four columns, A, B, C, and D. We only have 20 names. I left the titles in there and the fax numbers just to show that we're picking information out from a list. So what we're looking for is this little block of data which is from A2 to D21. It's on the sample numbers tab. And we're going to be looking for whatever's in column number three or the C column. Okay, so let's show you how we do this. Going over to the phone number tool. The first thing we need is we need to get the names. Now, I could type a name in here, but if I mistype it, that's going to be trouble. So instead, I want to make it automated. I want to be, get the right thing. And to do that, we're going to use data validation. So I click in A4. I've got this all set up, ready to put in my names and numbers. And I go to the data tab. And I'm looking for data validation. Now, because I've shrunk down my uh, window here a little bit, it shows up as a little icon. If you've got your Excel expanded a little bit, it's probably going to look a little bit more like this and say data validation right on the toolbar. So I'm in A4. I click data validation. And here's the, uh, the box for it. What's it. What do we want to allow in here? Currently it says any value. I want to change that to a list. And then this is real easy. Where's the source of my list? Well, I'll click that. It's waiting for me to put the have for input right there. I click on the samples again down there at the tab. And I highlight from A2 to A21. That's my block of data 
That's my list of names that I'm going to be pulling from. I'll click this again and hit OK. Now this is really neat because now all I have is that list of names. It's a short list, but they're all in there. So if I choose Dave Balika, there he is. I'm not getting his phone number yet, but we will in just a moment. Go back to John Carroll. Now here's how, that's how we use data validation. You can have a much longer list like we did in our first example. For office phone, this is where we get into the V lookup. Now again, we're going to be looking up, we're going to look up John's name in this list, and we're going to say cross-reference it to find right there, his phone number in the third column out of this block of data. So here's what we're going to put in there. I'm going to use my uh, insert function tool, although if I wanted to I could just type it. So I insert the function. VLOOKUP is one of the ones I've used recently, so it's already there, but if I wasn't there I could just type it in. VLOOKUP and hit enter and it'll give me the selections and I'll just choose it. There it is. Now the lookup value, well that's right there, A4. That's the value we're looking at. We're going to cross-reference what table? Well that's that block of names and numbers. So I choose that one, I go back to my sample numbers, and I highlight that whole block from A2 to D21. The column or index number, what, what, what number column was the phone number in? Remember that's number 3. I'll type it, and you'll notice right away the formula already gives me a result. To keep this looking for exactly the right thing, I'm just going to put in range lookup the word false. What that is going to do is make sure that when Carol John is in there, that's the one I come up with. Otherwise, it looks for it alphabetically in case there are other Carols starting with a J, and it gets kind of weird. So we're going to look for Carol John and I'm going to hit OK. And that's it. Now it looks it up for me. So when I go over here and I change the number to Chris Collins, I get his phone number. You can use this for anything you want. VLOOKUP will simply go and look up the number for you according to what you tell it to do. Look at this no name and find the number from this list over here. Hope that was helpful. Look forward to our next installment of uh, Tips and Tricks here at the ATC Learning Center blog. Thanks a lot, guys.